Electrowens phalogram, or EEG devices, are used to measure electrical activity in our brain. They typically tend to be very expensive and are only available in hospitals. But Neuro has created an affordable device we can all use to aid our mental health. TechStorm visited Neuro's office to find out more. Technology for EEG has come down in price and of course technology improves, we're able to do it at the consumer level. The key for us and the IP that we hold is how do we interpret the brain signals. Dr. Alvin Chan and the team at Neuro have come up with a brilliant device as well as apps that will help the very young to the elderly. So what we have here is our EEG headband which is what we call the NeuroSense band. In here we have four electrodes on the front and two electrodes on the back. So we're collecting four individual data channels of the forehead. And it's with these data channels, along with a specially designed game app called Kogoland, users can be trained to improve focus and attention. Kogoland application was designed specifically to train a person on attention. We want people to have fun while training. So what she needs to do is to focus. If she focuses, the chicken will actually run. The objective of this game is to pay attention as long as she can and the chicken will run as far as possible. So the objective of this is to condition the child or the person playing to learn what focus is about and try to sustain their attention. But if a child has development difficulties, you'd think that the last thing that could help is a computer game. We have a set routine or protocol to actually have the children play up to half an hour, three times a week and for three months and that you see an improvement. We are helping children with ADHD as a complementary solution to help them train at home to improve their attention. These we are not your typical games where you're, you're shooting or killing people. The range of neural applications used with the sense band also helps in lowering risk in dementia. There are plans for fatigue monitoring in dangerous workplace situations. We've been getting a lot of attention from various countries, so it's been really very exciting for us. This is Willie Fu, and you're watching Storm Bites right here on TechStorm.